Hi everybody. Uh, apologies, this has gone out a bit late. I've been video editing all day for the Antra show, but have a look at what's behind me. I'm going to try and... There we go. That is Mount Agung. So that is one of the two live volcanoes here in Bali. So a lot of Kundalini energy. You know, I've known people that literally didn't age living here because of the amount of Shakti in the land. And look at this gorgeous backdrop here, this lush, fertile land. Amazing. So um, yeah, it's Friday. What are my musings on love this week? Well, I had an interesting initiation yesterday, uh, which I felt to speak to because um, yesterday was of course exact new moon in Gemini. And in the labors of Hercules, this is when the hero in all of us is tested on the lesson of the false teacher. And for me, how that played out was uh, there was a chap who, um, you know, had come highly recommended because he'd done seven one man shows and done a show in Edinburgh before. And he just happened to be in Bali and, you know, um, had offered to step in for the first week of rehearsals uh, for a fee, quite a, quite a large fee. Um, and so we had a Zoom to have a conversation. And in that conversation, he literally said, and I'm, I'm not paraphrasing, that if I didn't um, submit all creative control to him, that I would look like a monkey on stage. And I said to him, do you mind just clarifying what you mean by that statement? And he said, you'll look like a total fool and uh, I was like oh okay <laughs> so <laughs> interesting um, and it was a revisiting of you know the challenges that saw me leave the entertainment world in my maidenhood hi thanks for joining me live and I remember very clearly that moment when I left the entertainment world and it was when one of the promoters came up to me and said no one's interested in what you have to say and I left the venue in tears and I remember once ending a relationship with a man because he said those exact words to my daughter and I told him he was no longer welcome <laughs> in our lives so it feels really important you know I mean this man was essentially bullying me he was impressing upon me um, that you know I, I had no idea what I was doing and that and this is a man who didn't know me at all um, didn't know my backstory but presumed that he knew far more than me and was quite patronizing and arrogant in, in asserting that and he was also saying, you know, you'll be completely alone on that stage. Um, and it's a cutthroat festival. It's dog eat dog competition. You know, you don't know what you're getting yourself in for. And I said, well, every morning I'm doing a subliminal meditation, creating the reality that I'm choosing to have when I go to this festival. And I'm, I'm not going there to launch an acting career. You know, for me, just standing on that stage is already a victory. I'm not going there to be in competition with anybody. I'm going there because spirit's given me an assignment. So I said, my validation comes from myself, not externally, you know. And, you know, we decided that we probably weren't a good fit to work together. But after that call, I felt like throwing up and I was shaking all over. It had a big emotional charge. And to my subscribers, I put in the, the email I sent out for the launch of my third single off the album, Alchemy Sets Me Free, off the Antra single yesterday, that, um, you know, you may be challenged this uh, transit of the sun and the moon through Gemini to revisit an old story, because Gemini is about transmutation, yeah? So... We think of an alchemist as somebody who transmutes base metal into gold, but this is all a metaphor. The base metal is our, our fear-based stories. And the gold is the, the pure 
consciousness of, of truth, of clarity. So, you know, if I wasn't holding that fear on some level, I wouldn't have attracted this man. But in journeying the last 27 years, I'm no longer that maiden who'll run away in tears, but instead stand in my own truth and say, thank you, but that doesn't resonate with me. That's not the reality I'm choosing to have. And that's the mature Venus who has been to Helen back and has resurrected herself having found self-love. So that's what I'm being asked to embody this year. And I, I felt to share that because, you know, that's the third time in preparing the show for this festival that I've had interactions with men that have bullied me you know, and felt that that was completely appropriate behavior. And it's foreign to me, having not been in a mainstream industry for nearly 30 years. You know, I'm used to working with people that have a certain awareness of how they speak and how they treat others. So yeah, I'm in my mage phase. This is midlife for a woman. And in our mage phase, we revisit the wounds of the inner maiden and we have the opportunity to play those stories out differently. So regardless of your age, regardless of you know, what's happening in your world, the inner heroine, and regardless of your gender, she may be tested on somebody who, or the inner hero, who asserts that they know better than she or he does. And at the end of the day, if we listen to our heart, that's where the infinite intelligence speaks to us. We don't give our power to an external authority. Yeah, we don't second guess ourselves. We don't give over what we know to be true and take on a false truth. Yeah, which is injurious to us. So I hope that's helpful today. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend, wherever you are in the world. And um, yeah, I feel truly blessed to be here in Bali. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you this volcanic black beach in front of me. Have a look at the view. I'm on top of the roof and there's kids playing in the black sand down below. And um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty blessed. This morning I saw a rainbow when I finished my yoga practiced over the top of Mount Agung, that live volcano which I see from my window at the moment every day. So wherever you are, blessings, have a, a graceful, fun, wonderful, relaxing, replenishing weekend and remember your truth, no one can take that away from you, yeah? Know your heart, connect with your heart and um, yeah. Don't be bullied into uh, betraying your own heart. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share it if, if you wish.